Okay, so the first floor toe heater project done. Uh, so here we have this is the supply line, my baseboard hydronic system. So supply goes to a T with a, a Venturi, continues like more than a couple of feet. Uh, return also with a Venturi. They say you only need one, but I figured two is better than one. Uh, I was using a little bit of shielding but of course it fell down as I was doing the, the final solder, so that's why we got a little bit of burn behind there. Uh, but the supply goes across and up the toe kick. Uh, the return is this way, I got an air vent up there, comes back down and goes back to the return over here. I already purged everything, it works totally fine. Uh, I used a little bit of caulking in here, a little bit of a flexible, stays flexible putty. I sealed it off also with uh, some foil for absolutely no reason. Uh, so nothing, nothing coming down. I just wanted to make it so that basement air doesn't get sucked up uh, when the when the air handler over here is on. So anyway, let's go upstairs a quickie. Show you where our where the toe kick is. So the first half of this house, or the front half, basically is a separate zone. This is an outside wall, and not even close to being warm enough in here in the winter. It's, it's freezing, so hard we hardly use this. Uh, we usually keep this closed. So I actually put a toe kick. I made a false bottom over here. This is a false bottom because it's such a narrow cabinet. I had to pretty much cut the entire thing away in order to get in order to get the heater in there. So basically Beacon Morris. Uh, this is going down to downstairs. I, I made this out of plywood, you know, thin quarter inch deal. Uh, wired it and made it I gave it its own circuit breaker. Didn't have to, but we have a uh, we have a, not, what do you call it, a, a sub panel, and it has about seven or eight empty breaker spots, so it was easier to just put in a little 15 amp. Uh, there was actually no toe kick at all in here. It was just white and crappy looking, uh, and you couldn't really see, so basically it's a small bathroom, so you run, you're not really looking too far off. So I actually had to cut this to make it work. I have to cut the bottom of this just because I raised it up a little bit to make it not below the tile. Uh, this this bathroom looks good from far away, but it's very poorly put together. Uh, so here you go. I mean, it's it's not the best. This is three quarter of an inch. I took three quarter of an inch um, plywood and I made a toe kick. Uh, basically, I fastened this to it so it's it's out a little bit. But it's fine. The idea being, uh, this is gonna we're gonna heat the bathroom, and for most of the time we'll keep it like maybe like this, and it'll deflect the air out to here, so we'll get a lot of air out into this entryway, which is not really that warm either. There's really not enough uh, enough registers or ducts. There's there's basically that that and that for this whole area. Uh, foolishly, the uh, the thermostat was in this room, and this room is, gets very warm, very warm. There's a big long line of baseboards. This is the beginning of uh, the heating. It basically comes from the heat, the uh, boiler, and this is the first stop. So this is the hottest water right here, and this room gets really warm. And when I first moved into the house with the uh, thermostat over here, it was it was being fooled into thinking the whole front half of the house was warm and it was terrible, the house was freezing. So I actually moved the thermostat out to this wall, a little bit better. Uh, basically the deal with this right now, it's the summertime, this, this is completely off. So I'll show you, let's turn it on to heat. Uh, right now we got the central air on, but let's see, if we'll turn this up to let's say 73. So now this is gonna call for heat. So we'll see how long it takes the uh, baseboard to kick on. All right, so there we go, it's calling for heat. 
Let's see if the furnace just turned on. Yep. Let's see. Yep. The furnace just kicked on. Just test and see how long. I actually put a uh, a second aquastat, uh, actually a lower, this is old furnace, but it works great. Uh, see, I'm pretty tall. Let's see if these are getting warm. Not yet, but the circulator should open for the front of the house. This will warm up, I think within a minute or two. Oh, so anyway, what I was saying is you can purchase a, uh, a secondary, a different aquastat, a lower temperature aquastat for that. Uh, kick plate heater, so that's, uh, or toe kick heater, so that's what I did, so it actually works at a little bit of a lower temperature. Uh, like I was saying, here's the sub panel, we got a lot of space, so I basically just threw this breaker in, new breaker, that, this just is for the, uh, for the toe kick, it's, uh, where is it, it's coming down, coming down somewhere, yeah, it's coming down right over here, it's this one. So I ran, I just ran it through the joists across here. I didn't label it yet. It's it's this bad bad boy over here. I just have to attach it. I'll put a little clamp on there so it's all, all legal, but nice and easy. Let's see if our let's see if we're getting some warm water yet. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. It'll take a little while. I have the uh, I have the temperature of the boiler down in the summertime. Uh, it really doesn't need a low. It's got a high and a low, but it, we have a water storage tank, so we really don't need a low. But keep it around 140. We keep it about 140, which is a you know, warm water temperature. The hot water, so when that we, it's calling for hot, when it's calling for hot water. So. Let's see. I mean, I assume in the winter time it's going to kick on a lot faster than this. But let's see what happens. There it goes. That's it. Blowing, blowing warm. And it works fine. You know, this is the smallest one Beacon Mars makes. It's absolutely fine. I mean, for for my needs here. For sure, it's better than what was there. I mean, and you know what? When most, when people aren't around, I can I can make a little angle thing here to heat up in here. I can do one of these deals to get the air flowing out onto me right now. So this should work out really nicely. All right, and that's it. Uh, let's get this set off. Put this to. Uh, uh, and that's it. It works.